All right, let's see how that did. Hit comments. All right, y'all let us know if you can hear and see and all that good stuff. <sighs> hey, everybody. We're going to give it just a second. Get all caught up. Are y'all seeing and hearing? See okay. There, I got somebody telling me they can see and hear. Working awesome. great. Awesome. All right, we'll give them just a few minutes. I see a lot of comments on here. So just cover everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, hey to everybody. We. Katie won't be typing much. She's burning her hand. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that. There's Mr. Tony. I may still sound a little funny, but I feel fine. I just we got an update. Not on talking <clears throat> all that great, but yeah, we'll update you on that. Carolyn says she finally made the live. Peggy says someone sounds a lot better. Well, it's not me. I, I don't think I can sound any better than I am. Tony beat Kit Catherine. Is I beat Cat. She probably forgot. <laughs> she probably did. I can't text her and tell her. There's Mr. Jim, and it's probably Kimberly because Kevin's kind of a slacker. <laughs> he works hard. Leave him alone. <laughs> at Grounds Family Farm. Grounds. I'll at least try to make like, sure I say like that. Like Mr. Ed said, I like the coffee grounds. Ma Maggie hit dislike. I don't think it was an accident. Look, we're both looking over there. We're supposed to be looking at You look there. at the camera. I'm reading comments. I'm working the laptop. You read that. You are definitely not breathing as hard. You do sound better, Nick. So well, go ahead and give them a little bit of It's definitely update. not as hard to breathe. Go ahead and give them a little <coughs> health update. So I'll do it. Do it, Zoe. On Wednesday, we pestered him enough that I made him go to the doctor <laughs> on Thursday. And Mr. Nick here has got a severe case of bronchitis. And he is supposed to be taking it easy. But they'll see on dot, the dot, video. <laughs> Y'all will see on the video Tuesday that I didn't take it, didn't take it all that easy. Take it all that easy. Hey, Aunt Judy. Well, see, there's a lot of ladies on here, so they're probably not going to agree. But I've got Mr. Jim and I got Tony, and maybe Kevin. There's Cliff. He might take. They, they will. They will know what I mean when your wife says she wants you to rest and take it easy. That only means if it fits into what she wants to do. Take it easy as long as it doesn't affect what she needs you to do. If she needs you to do something, then you can't take it easy right then. Yeah, Kevin said you fell victim <laughs> to the peer pressure. <laughs> he fell victim to the women, the women folk. <coughs> giving him a hard time. There's Joel. <laughs> so there was supposed to be rest, so, and steroids, be antibiotics. Off. You still are coughing. Not, I'm not as bad. You're not getting choked up as much. No. But you're still coughing. I'm on steroids and antibiotics. See, Mr. G, a man, Tony. Oh, yep, there's they know. Said, yep. Take it easy as long as I don't need you to do something. Well, But if I need you to do something, then you just got to do it. We forget about that take it easy part. Take it easy if it fits me. Well, <laughs> I really had hoped. That you could have taken it easy yesterday, but as they'll see, you were very much needed. And <laughs> if you had not helped yesterday, it could have really gotten crazy. <laughs> they'll see on they'll Tuesday. See. That's right. Joel said we're always fine. Yeah. Well, Zoe's like, you need rest. If I need to do something. I need rest. If Zoe needs me to do something, we forget all about that. Take it easy. <laughs> no, that is not true. I oh. said, no, I told you, you can't pick and choose what you take it easy <laughs> on. Either you're going to go, you're going to take it easy all the time. Tony, or you're said, not. Tony said, take your deathbed with you to get her chores done. <laughs> That's right. 
Oh. Robert, we're glad to have you. He's a new subscriber. He came over from the Walkers. Sue said that Braxton Wilkes was able to come home from Children's Hospital awesome. yesterday. He did lose a kidney in the accident, but is doing well. That's okay. He was on our prayer list for last week. That's right. It is always crazy. <laughs> Austin Cool said, isn't it always crazy? Well, look. If if any if we're just being honest about it, you are not going to get a whole lot of rest time and downtime. Not with the, the life, not but with the lifestyle we have. There's always something. There's always somewhere I got to be with kids. Something going on. So look, it's just it is what it is. That's right. But I'm definitely feeling better. I went to the doctor the next day after y'all got on me so hard. I told Zoe I would. And they did the chest x-rays. No pneumonia this time. Thank goodness. Um, the COVID lung is still an issue which is why I was, was so easy to get bronchitis again. That's probably going to be an issue for, I don't know, maybe forever. I don't know. Well, they did tell you if there's not some long improvement in the next four to six weeks that we will start a, a COVID lung treatment. Yeah, they're supposed to go see some kind of pulmonary specialist to try to treat that. She was still seeing some signs of it, but no pneumonia. Yeah. And that was right. a good thing. And I did kind of take it a little slower was it Friday? I go to the doctor Thursday. Yeah. I went to the doctor Thursday. So Friday I took it a little slower and then wide open Saturday. <laughs> but you can, I could also tell the steroids were helping because you seem they to did. feel a lot better Saturday. Um, you weren't as drained as fast. That's right. But even if you, if you were, you put on a, a good face and embraced it. I won't tell you any difference. Well, I already know. <laughs> like no, Tom Jody, I didn't. Said, Who's going to feed them hogs? Jody, I did not stay home from work. No. Mm -mm. But either way, the, the COVID lung, they say, is a um, going to be an ongoing issue. So not much I can do about that, guys. I, I didn't have anything to do with that. Edie said, different background. Where are we? We have used this spot before. And then Zoe and I got really lazy and just started doing it from the recliners. We just which are, which are like right there. right there. This we actually is where we hung all our Christmas cards and had some right. Christmas decorations. So we, we, we have to move furniture to sit here. So we were like, well, let's just sit in our recliner and do it. And now we're like, well, we like our background a little bit. Yeah, I just All wanted the, to get back to the background yeah. and sitting up a little more and not having to lean over into Zoe. That was, Zoe, <laughs> Zoe start rocking and the camera's moving. And <laughs> the recliners actually have to touch for us to get on there. So when Zoe starts rocking, it's rocking me and it's moving the camera. So I was like, oh, we're not doing that anymore. We need to go back to our background. Patty said, I can't see that far away. You can't see the right there? I can't, I'm reading it from over there. It says, I hear COVID long is hard to get it gone 100%. Hopefully with time it will. And I'm glad you're feeling a, lot, a bit better. Well, they do have a little bit can, of a treatment. I don't, say, I don't know if you ever can fully recover from it. I don't know. You know. I get worried because that's what my daddy died from. That made three rounds through our house before I got it. it Zoe had it twice. Chance had had it once while I was gone on a work trip. Mackenzie had it. Mackenzie had it. I don't think Rhett, Rhett ever has, actually and got I'm it. I'm glad because he has real bad asthma and all. I don't know how he would be able to handle it. One Scott said, I still sound sick. I'm yeah. just still hoarse. That's all. So all all of the hacking and yeah, so. He's, his sleep's better. <laughs> and it's been three hundred and forty six days till Oki. <laughs> what is it? The twenty first and second. I think it's the next same. year. 
I think it's one day different. It well, was twenty second, twenty third. So it would actually be the same. Ed, you're gonna have to correct it. I think it's twenty first and twenty second next year. I don't remember. I read it. But either way, they've already released the date. So for all those people that keep saying, I wish I could make it to Oklahoma, I wanted to go, I didn't get it planned. Start you've planning got, now. You have got a whole year. They have already released the dates. You've got a whole year to get ready. Yep. To go. Okay. You can even go ahead and book your hotel. And then if you can't make it, you can cancel it later. And that way there's no way That's to right. say, hey, I can't. I can't. I don't have a hotel room. Robert McMillan said he had it twice. Still have shortness of breath. I, I do, too. I have to be very careful when I'm filming. And I've I've tried to find different places to put the mics so that it doesn't sound like Darth Vader <laughs> when I'm on camera. <laughs> Joel said he's never had it diagnosed, but his, his lungs have are not the same and he's had numerous spell coughing spells. Yeah, it's definitely uh it's, it hits you hard. Something yeah. different. Now that issue means I'm more susceptible to the anything that involves breathing. So the bronchitis, she said, look, you're gonna have cro chronic bronchitis until we get all this better. So either way, let's quit talking about that. Yeah, that's we'll talking sad. about being sick. We can't talk about what we did over the weekend because that's from the video on Tuesday. I know, and I want to tell them so bad. <laughs> well, talk about the video they've already seen. Well, we talked about it on Wednesday. No, we didn't. We talked about the severe weather we had. Yeah, but, but well, that's true. They because we, we kinda, had a tornado. We kind of talked about it. They just didn't get to see the video right. of it. Dawn said her brother-in-law and her church music director passed away from COVID. It really makes me vigilant during to heart. I can't see. heart defect. I'm the one in her family that has not had it. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. Okay, I can't. I don't know. I can't Just read good. the comments there. <laughs> Tony said it's better than getting the worms with makes you have an itchy butt. Uh, he didn't say that. I added that. I suppose. Well, dogs scratch their butt on the floor when they have worms, right? I reckon. Was I not supposed to say that? I, I, I You can say it all you want, Christina I guess. Christina said 22nd and 23rd. Well, that would be the same dates, wouldn't it? I told you. Because oh. it was a leap year, which meant we had added an extra day, so... The same, it would I was be the same counting time. on Ed to come in there with the dates. I knew he would have it, but Cliff said, How are the kids? Well, they're all right, they're just they are ready for the summer because they're ready to get out. Of, well, I say they're ready to get out of school. Hey, walkers, it is <laughs> not, it is the 21st and 22nd, right there from the Oki Homesteading Expo page. Oh, uh, that might have been the update from last year the 21st and 22nd 2025 so mr jim said tell him how hoss he is did he handle the storm okay holly looked fine but he didn't see hoss. well let me tell you why you didn't <laughs> see hoss and mr jim I, I did comment i think i meant to if i, I replied on your comment on there asking about hoss Hoss made it through the storm, sleeping in Chance's bedroom floor. He wasn't out there, so he did just fine. When you saw me and Zoe out in the storm, that's because Hoss was in here snoring. Yeah, and he snores loud. He's bad. <laughs> he snores like an old man. But, uh -uh. Um, Mr. Jim, he spent his first night at the farm last night. He did. And he did very he did. well. He was happy to see us, too. <laughs> Tony said this is so much fun. He don't know why Catherine is not participating. I'm telling you, we're going to get her. I'm going to get her with a switch. She's probably taking a nap or something. She's probably glad Tony's not talking to her so that she can do something. Maybe. But I did see where Mr. Jim asked how Hoss did, and I, I replied in there. But Have you been yelling at me? A lot. 
He's always yelling at me. No. Uh, he has bronchitis. I'm getting over a case of bronchitis that I brought back from Oklahoma oh, with me. There ain't no telling who you call it. Is it? Is it? Can. What? I was about to say congenital. What? Contagious. Oh, I don't know. I wonder if wrong guys is contagious. No, it's fine, Mr. Jim. I wanted to let you know that. But I y'all know I drove home that Monday from Oklahoma sick. Or mm -hmm. I drove part of the way, then Zoe got <laughs> Zoe had to drive home because I was sick. Oh. Uh, y'all seen what news clip? What news clip? Oh man. I don't know. I don't know what news clip they're talking about. Oh, I need to know. Oh, he's Joel said no. If it's if it's contagious, then everybody in that plant's got it. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not <laughs> congenital. Y'all. <laughs> hey Richard. He was surprised that Littlefoot was not Nick and Zoe. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Infection. Oh, she's talking about the lady saying ain't nobody got time for that. Yes, oh, I have seen. Oh, that. I remember she ain't nobody got time for that. I think she was sick too. Huh? Yeah. I remember when that clip came out and everybody was making dubs on it and stuff, <laughs> making reels and stuff with it. Steve said a lot of people that went, came home sick. So yeah. It was, there was a lot of fluctuation in weather. So I think that probably had, <laughs> I got the wrong guys. Ed got a cold while he was there. Ed did come home sick. I think it was just the drastic changes in weather, but. So we were having a conversation today. Um, some of y'all may not know, Mackenzie's got a birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. And, of course, she was Oklahoma cootie. She was going ahead and letting me know where she was going to want to eat for her birthday and all this good stuff. And then Chance announced where his was going to be. Tell him where Rhett wants to go oh, for his I birthday. Oh, I thought you were going to tell him tell him where Chance was about to say. I'll tell him where Chance wanted to go because Daddy's not going. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Tell him where Rhett wants to go for his birthday. He wants to go to Oklahoma <laughs> because they have pony rides and bounce houses. To Rhett, you get if you go to Oklahoma, you get you pony rides and bounce stay houses. You have that one building, yeah. and you have pony rides and bounce houses. So that's where he wants to go for his birthday is o <clears throat> Oklahoma. Oka. Oklahoma. It's not Oklahoma anymore. And there's no L in it. Yeah, it's o Oklahoma. Oklahoma. But. It generally means something you have at birth. <laughs> Zoe was <clears throat> informed that's where he wanted to go. And, and I, what did. You said. Uh oh. <laughs> you said something about they wouldn't have the pony rides. Yeah, there said, for his well, birthday. Have bounce houses. And he said, Well, they'll have bounce houses. No, they ain't gonna have that either. And drink some Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. <laughs> Jody said, Where's Chance want to go? Jody, Australia may not even have them. I don't know. <laughs> Chance informed uh, his mother and I today on the way home. <clears throat> we had gone to eat lunch right after church. Chance said, I want to go to Hooters for my birthday. And I'm, Zoe looks at me and I said, well, Chance, I will be glad to stay home for that one. I said, I said, <laughs> well, Daddy will take one for the team and take his boys to Hooters. And he said, nope, I'll be glad to stay at home for that one. I said, I will. He wanna... does not want to go in the doghouse. <laughs> I'll be glad to just go ahead and stay home. Katie lectures Zoeism for the week. The goose. That's so cute. I forgot about it. And you pointed it out to me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm editing the video and I said, Zoe, did you really say gooses? And she said, huh? I, you just said that the gooses stayed on <laughs> Ness through the store. Well, I mean, it so is. So I made sure to point it out on the video. It yes, is. she said gooses. It is multiples of one goose. She's a goose and she's a goose. They're gooses. 
No, no, that's not at all how that works. A goose. No. A geese. Like yeah. golden eggs for Easter. Yeah. Uh, Tony said, I too am not allowed to go to. Charles <laughs> <laughs> and Kathy's first time here. Oh. Um, <laughs> Ed, I'm not <laughs> repeating that. They wear Jody said they wear clothes as our hooters. Oh well. Yeah, that was that was what Chance decided to announce to the vehicle. That's where he wanted to go. Because and, they wear short shorts. Yeah, and Zoe tried to throw that on me and I was like, No, no, I'll stay home for that. You go right ahead and take him. And Rhett said, I don't want to go to Hooters. I want to go to Oklahoma. Well, and then he decided Burger King would suffice. And we don't even, well, he gets Burger King all the time. I'll just go to Burger King. Yeah. <clears throat> Buddy, that'll be okay, too. Lorraine said there's no Hooters in Tasmania. I bet Tasmanian devil would be a hoot in a Hooters outfit, wouldn't he? That'd be something. <laughs> That's let's get off the subject of hooters it's kathy she says she could listen to us talk for hours i don't know why we can't listen to each other for hours <laughs> <laughs> we can't stand to listen to each other kathy wants to know where any duck eggs making it we were talking about those today yep so we got counting and we actually should have some geese beginning to hatch today as we have not Anytime. checked geese eggs today. Geese we have eggs. not That's checked not right. geese eggs. That's not right. Tony said he'll take them to Hooters. He'll, he'll take, take one for the team. team. And yeah. He'll take the boys Catherine's to Hooters. going to okay. take a fist to his eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> the, I've got to candle. It's time to candle goose eggs. No, yeah. It's time to candle no, duck, duck eggs. eggs and guinea eggs. So yeah. I'll probably end up doing that as soon as we're done here. Because I should have some geese hatching today and tomorrow, any in the next three to four days. Yeah. And we've got a little trip. We kind of talked about it. Let's talk about it. Because we, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to bring them along with us or not because it's so many. Yeah, we probably won't. So go ahead and tell them. But like, okay, I'll elaborate. So tomorrow, Nick and I... Go to the preschool department at Rhett School and talk to the kids about being, twice. being farmers. Twice. We have to do this spiel twice. Yeah. They're, yeah. They've split them up into two groups. We got to do it twice. So we're going to take Littlefoot with us to meet all the preschoolers. There's probably 150 of them. <laughs> and we might have a gosling. And if we have any goslings hatch and it's dry and ready, we'll put it in a warmer and take it with us. Well, <clears throat> so that they can get to meet some babies because you know a lot of these kids aren't exposed to anything like that, especially a baby goat. Everybody, you know, chickens are easy. A lot of them have been. A lot of the classrooms have been hatching chicks, but a goose or a. a a baby well, goat. The preschoolers have it. Well, though. That's they, right. we could take a baby chick and let the preschoolers see it. Yeah, she said you better drink some lemon water. <laughs> I'm gonna let Zoe do all the talking. That way, she can inform them about the gooses. But, I wish I had, but had it would time. be a baby geese. I wish I had had time to get a book from Aunt Judy, and we could read the book to them. That would have been neat. Dale basically <laughs> went through explaining to you goose and geese. Uh, <laughs> you damn, you just wasted your time because we not going to use any of that. Lorraine said that the school chickens hatched. They did. They hatched five. And they, um, they actually sent me, each child wrote me a thank you note. You got card. little cards. I mm -hmm. did from each kid telling me thank you, Miss Baker, thank you. We love that, love the experience kind of thing, and all of them drew a picture of a baby chick, and they just had a blast, and and I've enjoyed. This is the second year I did it, and it's been fun. And I I learned last year, you know, and I 
was telling them about the alpaca coming and they couldn't tell anybody because it was still a big old secret. Yeah, we edited that out, but you told the kids. I told the kids <laughs> and they loved it and they were so excited. Half of them don't know what an alpaca is. Kathy, I was, was doing best my thing. best to keep the secret. I even edited that part out of the video. I was doing my best. But Zoe told the entire classroom. I did and they love it. Oh, <laughs> she said Tony needs to watch what he says on here. Catherine has access to his collection of cast iron skillets. <laughs> yes, Tony. Um, Kathy wants to know, do you guys have problems with guineas staying home? They wander off around here. If you are buying them, I, I don't care what anybody tells you. I'm going to give you Nick's opinion on it and what our experience is. And if mine's different, I'll give my opinion. Sure. If you buy guineas from someone else and you don't raise them on your farm, then you ain't going to keep them there. They'll leave. Especially if you buy adult guineas. That's, you're just out of luck. If you can get Keats and raise them there confined for a little while and get them used to that being home, then we had better success with that. But you are not going to get guineas from somewhere else and bring them to your farm and them stay there. They'll just leave. Well, I don't know where they go, but they leave. That or even their um, perimeter is a lot bigger than chickens as well. Oh, yeah. Our guineas visit the neighbor's yards and our chickens do not. Um, but ours all come back to, to roost on Cassie the farm. Cassie said, just get chickens. Yeah, that's right. And... But they're a lot like peacocks and peahens. If you don't, if you're rehoming them to your place, if you don't keep them confined, then they're not going to know where home is and they're going to be trying to get back home. So you've got to train them to know that where they're at now is home. It's, you know, it's like cats. Cats, you just, you, if they don't know that you've brought them home, they're going to keep trying to go back to where they're from. So what we did with our guineas is much like what we did. And I just saw Jody ask, don't you have to lock up guineas for eight weeks? We treated the guineas much the same way as we did our uh, peafowl. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, we hatched the guineas ourselves, but we had them at our house. We had them in a pen here. We took them seven miles away to the farm. That wasn't home. So we had to confine them for a while on the second batch. The first ones we hatched, we took out there, turned them loose, poof, gone. Mm -hmm. And we hatched them. We raised them. Mm -hmm. But that was not home. The second group that we hatched, we put in a confinement pen, kept them in a little coop for a few weeks. And when we let them go, they're still there now. Yeah. That now, made all the, the difference day, in the world. They wander around. Well, sure, they wander but, around, but they come back at night. They roost in our trees. Right. That's where home is. Yeah. And that first group of guineas, that was not home, so they just left. Yeah. What did Cassie say? Is it because they're so dumb or so smart? Well, let me just tell you how they dumb are, they are. They are dumb. Let me just tell you how dumb they are. I tried to catch one. They call two geese gooses. I am not a human. <laughs> the, the, uh, now you got me lost. What was I even saying? I think you were probably going to tell how you caught that one. Oh, Because so a lot of people say, how coop. in the heck did you catch that I thing? know. We have a chicken coop that you have one door. <coughs> it's a mobile coop. So there's a, a one door in on both sides, and it was shaped like a barn. I had both doors open. And that darn guinea ran into the corner and it couldn't figure out to go three inches to the left and it could have got out. And I caught it in that corner. That's just how smart they are. Yeah, people wanted to know, how in the heck did you catch a guinea? <laughs> because it just ran in the corner and it, it couldn't did, figure it, it out. It couldn't figure out to go three inches to the left and it'd run right out of the coop. If they could not fit through that field fence, we could have caught them all yesterday. We could have. Because we would get them pinned up and, and they would just, just like, keep jumping uh, into the fence uh, until they found a hole they could squeeze through. I was trying to catch one yesterday to show my mama just how ugly they are. Up close, yeah. They look, they really are the ugliest. Thing. Judy and Karen were betting you were facing to smack me. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Kevin. Evening from East Tennessee. She's she's had a lot worse than that to smack me for, but that's just kind of how we get along. Well, here we are today. <laughs> <laughs> At least he took me out to eat. I guess I I guess I'll leave the smacking alone. No, they're not a uh, not real cute. They kind of remind me of something you'd see in a bad dream. That, if they go back and find, was it just a post you made or did you do a reel? I did a reel showing them a close up. You can go back and find the reel, and she posted like the scariest animal on the farm or something like that, and yeah. this. This thing up close, they're hideous. They're terrible. When we get to 20,000, what new thing do I get? What? Cassie asked. Well, Cassie, you and Zoe have already cheated that 20,000 number. Y'all y'all combined it and decreased it and everything you, else. You were in on it. You were good with it. I was put on the spot live. Yeah. I had to give in. They're like, if we hit 10,000 right now and that's combined Facebook and YouTube, can we? I was like, yeah, why not? I mean, I, yeah, I was live. What was I supposed to say? No. Yeah. You tell them no right here. That's like the the probability. It does happen, though. It's sad when it does. But you ever seen the guys propose like on national TV at a ball game or something? I've seen one say no. It was horrible. She said, well, September will be here before we know it. <laughs> well, it won't be September. She said, oh, we did. Yeah, y'all did. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Brandon got in on it, too. There were two lives in my face. I had to agree to it. Well, we meet at the meet and greet at Petals in this April. Yes, it's just in a couple more weeks. Rum monkey. Oh, I see that. Yes. Yep. April the 20th. That's we will right. be, and then we'll have the big YouTube meet and greet at in, September, in September, and that will be all kinds of fun. Uh, Meg said they will think of peasant. something. That does not even say peasant. It says pheasant. Yeah. Farmer Rat gets a pony. <laughs> I don't know about all that either. Farmer Rick getting a pony. I don't know about all that. They, that's why they did it while you were live. Because they got you. And we left that in the description forever. It's like, still there. I just we get to 20,000 now. Packers come to the farm. You might want well to take it off. Yeah, man, um, I see in generations. They said they'll be there. Can't wait to see us. Yeah, you might as well take that off there. I know it. Seeing as how we have a shadow, <laughs> Cassie, did Zoe send you a picture? I did. She was busy yesterday. <laughs> y'all, you're. I can't wait for y'all to see Shadow in the video on Tuesday. I cannot wait. Hey, Renee Michelle. How's the new puppy? He is doing just fine. He has started spending his days at the farm now. We had to make some adjustments to the gate because yeah. as hard as it is for him to do it, he will get down on that belly and squeeze under uh -huh. there. He'll and he actually some dirt. He yelped yesterday. He almost he's, got stuck. Yeah, because he's gotten fat. And he thought he was stuck. It was so bad. Hoss has... um. I know why Brandon was tired of feeding them. <laughs> because Hoss Hoss, goes from the floor taking a nap to the feed to the water to the floor to take a nap to the feed to the water. He lays down to eat. He snores on the car ride to the farm. Yeah. We put him in the truck to take him to the farm and he would snore between here and there. So... He got to spend the night at the farm last night, and he yesterday afternoon when we were out there, he was trying to scoot under the gate, and he almost got his big butt stuck. I know. And he started yelping. He thought he was stuck. <laughs> he got a little panicky, didn't he? 
Lorraine said, honey and Alfred were trying to make a new brother or sister for Shadow on their video last night. Oh, time. <laughs> well, I, I bet. You know, I have said I was not hauling that stock trailer back to Oklahoma. But I take that back. There is one thing. Hmm. If there was ever a Korea that looked like Mariposa, I would drag the trailer back. Mm-hmm. That is my favorite alpaca of any I've seen. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. So if there was a Korea that looked like that, I would drag the trailer back. But other than that, I don't want to do that again. Well, that means Mariposa would probably have to have a baby. Well, Mariposa had a baby. Well, yeah. But another it, one. But it didn't look like Mariposa. No, it didn't. It's got to look like her. So, Cassie, I'm putting that out there, it <laughs> has to look like Mariposa for that to So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, there's a chance, if it looks like her. That's the only way, though. What if you didn't that is have the a most stock unique trailer? Looking. What if you didn't have a stock trailer and you were somewhere and there, there was a Korea or an alpaca that looked like Mariposa and you're like, dang it, I wish I had brought it. We can get one of those kennel things that go in the back of the truck. Okay. Okay. Uh, seriously, Shadow could have rode in one of those things if we hadn't brought the goats to. Shadow could have rode in a dog crate and been just fine. <laughs> we didn't know how tiny he was. He was so little. <laughs> Put it in the back of the SUV. That's right. Londa, I don't want to hear gonna, that. We're going to set alpaca genetics or a crapshoot. I bet so. I'm saying if it is born and looks like her. That's all. Well, that's all. I'm, we, I'm throwing that out there. We could put Shadow in Rhett's car seat and he'd just sit with his feet out and just buckle him in. He'd be good to go. He'd be looking around <laughs> like this. That would have been funny. Y'all, I see Kevin say put it in the back of the SUV, but he has no idea how much stuff has been in the back of that Yukon. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there's Jones, Christy. There have been numerous goats, geese, ducks, all sorts of chickens, hauling broilers from the house to be processed at the farm in the back of the Yukon. Yes. That smell was great. So, yeah, there's been all kinds of stuff back there. It wasn't surprising me at all. I'm not scared to haul anything. Mm-mm. Go, the only thing I ain't back hauling there. is a snake. What is that mat I bought you so you would stop? A weather tech. Weather tech. I had to buy her a weather tech mat back there just to just get her to stop. She said Mariposa's baby that was premature looked like her, so you might want not want to say that. And you might get might be dragging that thing. Kathy, I will go on record to say if we can get now I'm not saying you're obligated. I'm saying if it looks like Mariposa and it is leaving Walker Farm family's farm, I will drag the stock trailer back to that. How about that? Lana says she's hauled many alpacas in the backseat of her truck. <laughs> Y'all, we heard a story. I was just about to say yesterday. You need to tell them that story. Well, it's not in the video. Y'all, there was a family that was starting a farm close by us and they were gifted. The The person was getting on up in age and wanted to downsize. So they had... They just moved from Pennsylvania to Alabama. You have to give me the numbers. How many llamas and alpacas? It's was, it was two and six. It's two and... Three boys, it was five girls. Eight total, right? Three boys, five girls, two llamas, six alpacas. Yeah, it was a lot. You heard those numbers. I'm not even going to try to go back through it. It was a bunch of llamas and alpacas. So they got pictures of them, and they were all like shadow size in the pictures. Yeah. So they rented a van. Mm-hmm. A cargo van. A cargo van. Rented it to drive to Pennsylvania to pick these they things up. They even put gates between. Just yeah, like had the gates, they, had tarps down. They were prepared. They really were prepared for anything that was going to happen. Right. When they get there, they're all full grown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, this is 
not. This was the greatest story ever. She said, this is not what, I thought they were smaller. He said, well, they were when I, when I took the picture. So. They had grown. They had to load these alpacas into the cargo <laughs> van and haul them from Pennsylvania to Alabama. Was it 16 hours? What they said? Yeah. <laughs> and she said they did not sit down at all. No. I don't what know what they, she calls it. They call it a term. I, Londa tell us. Londa, what do they call it when they lay down? But they would not do that at all. They and didn't. So the they stood the entire way and were spitting at each they other. Spitting, her, hus got, her husband got spit on. She said every time she turned her face, he there got, was one looking at her while she's driving and she's screaming because she's so nervous. He got, pushing, yeah, pushing. he got spit on in the first two minutes of the trip. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is great. So there she's driving and there'd be a, an alpaca or a llama head <laughs> come around. And she's just like, oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? And it was just. It was the funniest story. I think she I've ever said heard. They it. never cushed the whole time. No. No, she said they did one time and they had to they stop, had to stop for gas. gas and they as all soon as they did, up. they had to stop for gas. And they all stood back up. Oh, I could feel her pain. Oh man, I could feel and it. And he had to take the entire back of the van apart to clean it all uh -huh. because it was rented. They couldn't take it back smell it right it and all, but they wouldn't be still enough that they ended up... All the tarp the was all balled, was all balled up, up. The gates were torn down. <laughs> and... I, it was a great story. I love the story. I could just see it all happening. And, and I was I like, that it. so sounds like something I Zoe was just thinking do. that sounds like something we would have encountered. Zoe would have done it. I would have stopped and rented a car and drove home by myself. <laughs> left me going. No. When I showed up at that farm and they were all full grown, I just said, no. This is not <laughs> we're not putting them in a cargo van. Somebody thought, took the time to give me all those animals. No. Yes, I'm on I would have had to haul. I would have, I, I, I would have had to pay a transporter yeah. at that point. Yeah. No way I'm putting that number of full grown animals in the back of a cargo van. Well, they flew there and rented, had the cargo van. Yeah, that's and everything. not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Judy, they got it clean just fine. So I was, I wanted to go back because I saw several stories on here. Londa said we had a lady bring two full-size llamas to our farm for shearing in a hatchback. They folded up, uh, crawled, I don't know what it says, crawled right in the back seat. Craziest thing. Oh, gosh. Oh, Christy's in a hot, got a hot toddy going now. <laughs> Melba said I carried a calf in the back of a Mustang convertible. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Mr. Jim said his sister went through Chick-fil-A with a Jersey calf hanging its head out the window at the pickup area. Zoe would do that. I would. I think she would go through the drive through intentionally. Yeah, I want everybody to see my animals. Especially llamas because they're bigger. Gail said she made two weeks in a <laughs> row. Can she get a gold star? If I had ways to give gold stars, I would. But I have no idea how to do it. Uh, Meg said I just learned to always have a trailer available. I am not dragging a trailer everywhere I go just in case Zoe picks something up. He thinks it's going to deter me. We're just going to put some tarps down and keep going. I'm down for a drive-through experience like that. That's right. She's only two, three hours from. Well, the weather tech map didn't actually work out because you had taken it out to wash it and put some kind of animals in there without it. Yeah, it was a goat. Was it goat? I'm pretty certain. I don't remember. I bought this weather tech map. I had it. You order it by your vehicle making model. So I had, I bought this thing so she would stop doing that and got something spent, probably the kids. It probably didn't even involve an animal, but you took it out to wash it, clean it up, and left it out and put the animals back in there. 
All you have to do to give gold stars is say it. It's my responsibility to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine then. You get gold stars. Rhonda said her grandpa and Boaz bought her a pony, brought her a pony home in the back seat of his Cadillac. That's so cute. We have a couple that come shopping with an alpaca. An alpaca. They call it a service alpaca, and no one can do anything about it. Oh, gosh. She's always going to have a service alpaca. Your emotional support alpaca. You I have... said they have a bison ranch nearby, and there's a picture of a baby bison in the front seat. <laughs> I need that. Bye, Tony. I need me a bison. Can we put us a bison out there? No, you don't need a bison. We need a what water the, buffalo. Why? For what? Because nobody has those. But here. It's not that far away. We have people with bison. Not here. Yeah, here. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. We need zebras. There's a zebra right up the road. You can't claim that one either. But... As a matter of fact, you know of two places that have zebras. What did he have? Was it a buffalo? Well, I don't remember. The thing with them big old horns that we saw? That was a Watusi. Watusi. That yeah. thing was massive. Yeah, it was big. Kathy said bison are dangerous. Get that out of your head. <laughs> Chris, well, anything's dangerous, you know? Christy said, my gramps used to bring baby field rabbits in the pocket of his shirt, and their ears would be sticking out from around his mouth. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> we need mini giraffes. Lorraine says, seeing the alpaca walk through a grocery store is not impressive. <laughs> we need mini giraffe. There's a bison ranch in Madison, Florida, not too far from us. There's bison ranches in Alabama. Zoe just doesn't know about it. Well, there's that drive through I'm not thing. talking about that safari park thing. I'm talking about people that were raising them, breeding them, on the road you were on today. There's a bison farm on that road. Uh-uh. Yes, there is. Well, they need to make it noticeable. <laughs> They're not for pets, Mr. Zoe. Man said there's bison and Shelby and Shelby. See? Richard said he had a reptile zoo, brought a four-foot gator to his kid's birthday party. It would ride in the back of the car and stare at people and stop. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> That's funny. A four-foot gator looking at you. I'd be glad they were Baby gorilla. No. Well, babies grow up into adults. Yeah, we then all, you have adult gorillas. Yeah, we all know how and somebody's missing are. an arm. That's terrible. Yeah, I definitely need emus. Those are coming. That, that emu I could deal with. Or like, how's, how's Cassie say it? Emu. 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 We say like emu. M -M -U. So we don't know which one's right. We had that discussion. Yeah. Bison needs serious fences. Zebra will kill you with their kick. No. See? No zebras. Mm. And I don't want to have to build that kind of fences. You've seen what those bison do in those gates at Dusty's. Mm. Do you really want to deal with that? Lorraine said you said it properly. Oh. <laughs> emus? Well, that's, that's all we heard it said was emu, but then there were some that were saying well, emu. We know Nuggets and emu. I mean, that's just, he's the only one I've ever had. <laughs> well, I know, but I could, I could see it possibly being pronounced emu. Mr. Ben so said, if Moody, if you think Moody's big, stand beside a full grown bike. Absolutely. And that's what I'm trying to tell her that Dusty at Cross Timbers has got bison and they destroyed huge oh, yeah. metal gates and fences and panels and. My gosh, you have to have a tank to contain them. No, I'm not doing that. Our life adventures are raising four spider monkeys and a capuchin monkey. Capuchin? Yeah. I see that. I follow, I watch their reels sometimes. It's pretty neat. They got stuff hanging everywhere for the you monkeys to climb on. You don't need monkeys. You have monkeys. 
Nuggets sitting on, I think he's sitting on 17. I honestly have no idea. I don't remember what Brooke told me the other day. It's a bunch. I think it was 17 uh, emu eggs that he's sitting on. But yes, I'm it hoping. It might be emu eggs. I'm hoping to. It might not be emu. I'm going to ask Nugget. Emu. I'll just ask him. He'll tell me. It might be emu eggs. He, he'll tell me. Everybody's saying yes, 17. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what Brooke told me the other day. Yeah, me and Catherine, we, we waiting. We're patiently, <laughs> patiently, <laughs> impatiently waiting. Are you and these. Catherine both getting emus? We're in line. We got line. our names in, on the list. No, no monkeys. I hate that they are ripped from their mothers at young age. Yes. And I'm sure they have to be tamed early. Or they'll, you know. You would think. But even then, I don't know. I don't want, I don't really want an animal that has to be so domesticated like that. That they're treated like a baby in the home. I still want them to be in, in their element of some sort. Mm, Dogs said they're 24-hour job. Very needy and demanding. Well, you have threat, so you kind of have one. Yeah. Dusty's video today was awesome. Bell Star gave birth to a beautiful calf, and Dusty caught it all. On the I saw episode. somebody else said that his video today was. We'll have to watch it. We hadn't even birth. watched anything today. Well, well, I'm probably only six months behind on Cross Timbers videos anyway, though. Michael said there's a place on Highway 70 going out to Columbia. Mm -hmm. See, Ben said Rhett doesn't need competition. No, and we only need one red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have that thing fetching his baseballs for us. Yeah, we don't need that. She said her dad had two and they were nasty. That's what I've always heard. Jody said you would need the emu as a baby to tame it. Well, I think that pretty much would be the plan from the get-go. Right. Yeah. If you're, if you're as soon as one. I could have it, I would have it. What else you got, Zoe? I don't have a whole lot like I never do. Well, it's not like you have notes you bring to the table or anything like that. I no preparation. My, look, I'm doing good to bring myself Zoe to the table. Zoe just shows up. Gail hears and sees and hopes we're well. So, before we go, yeah. April the 20th, Petals from the Past, well, you want to give them the lineup real quick just to tell them who all is going to be there one more time. Yeah, and if you guys don't follow these people, go follow them. I mean, if we're all doing the same thing, just in our own way. Um, everybody knows Cog Hill. Um, Tracy and Jean at Just Dig It Farms. Judy at Sneed's Farmhouse. Caddy Wampus Acres. Big Family Small Farm, Hidden Oaks Homestead, Head Family Farm, Plummets and Famous, G and G, Perry Hill Farm, A and W Mini Farm, Generations Homestead, Crazy Lizzie's Goat Farm, and Cowbell Farm. There's the lineup. Wanda said not to throw a monkey wrench in the works, but I've always pronounced it emu. Now I'm confused. <laughs> emu. 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 Sorry. Emu. I don't know what's right. I'm still listening for Cassie and them saying emu, so I don't know. When they know. said it, I said, what? How did they just say that? Yeah, I have no idea. Caddy Wampus makes great soap. They do. Their stuff smells so good. Deb said, what does your family do to stay safe from severe weather? Do you have a safe room? Um, so in our house here, we have a closet that's in the center of the house. And it's in the center of the house, and one wall of it is the chimney. Right. So we have that room if we have to. It's actually Mackenzie's closet. That if we know severe weather's coming, we have her clean it out and we get in. We can. We've never had to, but we can get in there. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jim said we need a human shepherd and he'd love to apply for the job. I need to know because I've got Jody and Lorraine on here telling how they're pronounced. 
Lorraine, it looks like she's saying the way Cassie says it. Uh-huh. M U. M. M U. Uh-huh. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what how Jody's saying it, but I'm hearing it from from the Aussies who should know. They are Kevin like Kevin said, Emu, trust me, no trust me, no one. Oh, trust me. No one, one from Aussie land should, should know. know. Yeah. I agree. If you're going to have people on here from Australia and Tasmania, they, they, they're going to know. You do realize that this is Eddie. Oh, she said no, like I say it. Emu. Oh, oh, yeah. Huh. The Australians agree with me. <laughs> and they have them in their yard. Cassie's wrong. <laughs> The e is vowel, long. consonant vowel means the E is long. He said, Nick, you do realize this is Eddie. Well, yeah, I did. Zoe called you Michael. I, I knew who it was. Agreement. But they don't say zebra, right? Who don't say zebra right? We probably don't. What is it supposed to sound like? Zeb zebra? I don't know. I don't know Mary, how are we supposed to say zebras? Everything. I didn't know zebra? that was. A zebra. 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 That sounds like some kind of crap you teenagers made up because y'all don't say any words correctly. <laughs> she watches an Australian YouTuber and they call it Zebra. <laughs> zebra, not Z. And said pecans, pecans, pecans tomato, 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 tomato is okay. Yeah. As long as Look, we're all talking about no. the same thing. We may can debate whether it's emu or emu or zebra or zebra. We can debate all that. There is no debate. It's pecan. Right. It's not pecan. It's pecan. Pecan takes that, effort to no, say that. It does not roll off. We've the talked time. about this. Zoe is correct. So McKinsey was right. <laughs> zebra. Sadly. <coughs> None in Tasmania, and no one can have them in Australia. We need a wildlife permit to have any native animal. More people have emus in America than here. How about that? You know, Jody told us that. Jody said they have to have a special permit, and everybody in America can just randomly have one. A pecan is what you potty in. Yep, e Zoe wins e that one. Wins which? The zebra one? Uh -huh. Zebra? Zebra. Well, that wasn't Zoe. That was McKenzie. Well, they don't know that because they can't see her. Christina said pecan. What? Pecan. Pecan. No. I it's don't not. know. No. It's not clear. <laughs> We've already debated the pecans and pecans. And tortoise. It just is what it is. Ask someone from Scotland to pronounce tortoise. They don't say it like Americans. I wonder how. Lorraine <laughs> said, it's making her mad big time. She wants to leave me. <laughs> oh, she said no, Colin. Huh. As long as you know what you're saying, it doesn't matter how you pronounce Well, most it. of the time, we know what we're saying, but nobody else does. <laughs> they have no clue what we're saying. Click on. <sighs> it's time to wrap up. Wait a minute. They pronounce it how? Toe toys. Toe toys. In Scotland, toe toys. They call it tortoise toe toys. Oh, that's awesome. I need to hear that going. Uh, I'm, we're going to have to Google. I mean, we're going to have to YouTube Scottish tortoise. I got to hear that saying. It sounds e-mew. Mew. Say it out loud and exaggerate the sounds until you can consistently produce them. Oh, I can do that easy. Mew. I do that easy. Alexa may tell us, but yeah. She said it's awesome to hear this class try to say tortoise. Well, now I've got to hear it. Sheep school saying ewes is so funny. Not true. All of us true southerners say it like you do. <laughs> need to hear it. Can we look it up? Uh -huh. I'm going to Google it. I need to hear a little more from Scotland say tortoise. Oh my goodness. All right. It's time to We need to wrap here. up. We got to go check on, see if we had any goose eggs hatched. We've got to go check and see if we got goslings. We need to candle some guineas and duck eggs. And... Sheep School is a YouTube channel. We're going to look oh, it up. Oh, well, that might be cool. 
<sighs> but we need to check on Hoss, make sure he's not stuck. Yeah. All that good stuff. We get ready to go to the school tomorrow. We got to make sure we got anything we need. Yeah, we got to get little foot. All right. We will see you guys in a couple of days video on Tuesday. Yep. Bye, y'all.